Good afternoon. Welcome back to Refreshing Point. Today I'll be sharing with you what happens if you don't eat for 24 hours. Not eating for 24 hours at a time is a form of intermittent fasting. It is currently one of the world's most popular health and fitness trends. People are using it to lose weight, improve health, and simplify their healthy lifestyle. So what happens if you don't eat for a 24-hour period? You've just taken your last bite of food. Your saliva enzymes start breaking it down. It goes down your esophagus. Your stomach acid and enzymes break it down further. This process will take hours from when the food is eaten to it being digested and stored. The blood nutrient levels are being distributed randomly based on where the blood flows and where the insulin lands. Leptin is released and you're no longer hungry. During the first eight hours, your body will continue to digest your last intake of food. Your body will use stored glucose as energy and continue to function as though you'll be eating again soon. After eight hours without eating, your body will begin to use stored fats for energy. Your body will continue to use stored fat to create energy throughout the remainder of your 24-hour fast. When your stomach is empty, it starts to release a hormone called ghrelin. Ghrelin does a bunch of stuff, mainly revolving around preparing your body to find food and eat. Ghrelin starts building up and you feel hungry. Your body is urged to find food as the ghrelin encourages epinephrine to be released. Your resting metabolism rises for a period of time as your body tells you you need to eat. A healthy, well-fed body at rest and fasting will use fat to get 60 to 70 percent of its energy. The reason for this is that your body is meticulous about maintaining its blood sugar levels and will take measures to ensure you have a steady level of blood sugar for your body to survive on. After 16 hours of being fasted, your body will start creating glucose from amino acids. If your body doesn't have enough amino acids in your system, it will break down your muscle proteins, reduce them to amino acids for energy production. This process is ratcheted up significantly after 28 hours. Early research does suggest that intermittent fasting may have a few benefits. In addition to weight loss, intermittent fasting can have a positive effect on your metabolism, boost cardiovascular health, and more. It's safe to use this approach once or twice a week to achieve your desired results. Although this technique may seem easier than cutting back on daily calories, you may find yourself quite hangry on fasting days. It can also cause severe side effects or complications in people with certain health conditions. You should not fast if you have or have had an eating disorder, have type 1 diabetes, are pregnant or breastfeeding, are under age 18, or are recovering from surgery. You should always talk to your doctor before going on a fast. They can advise you on your individual benefits and risks. Thank you for watching. Good day and good health.